Yeah, my name is Joey Gaulish. I'm the founder and creative director of Mr. Saturday, a Toronto-based ready-to-wear brand. And I'm in Los Angeles right now working on our spring-summer 2022 collection, uh, Lonesome No More, that's premiering on the Paris Fashion Week calendar. Lonesome No More is a reference to the rise of Acid House in Manchester and the second summer of love. Uh, right and caricaturized with tie-dye and smiley faces. There's a lot of neutral tones and monochromatic dye techniques that um, pull color from the fabric in a really eco-friendly way. So in general, um, you know, what I tell people is that it's a collection about rave culture that's still fun and sexy, but it's very uh, elevated and it's it's a bit more of a serious take than you would normally see. I guess the future in any context is what's next or what's coming next, but you know, it doesn't feel so immediate to me. I think the future for me is always a time where I can reflect on the present, which I guess at that time is the past with some sort of context and perspective. Um, so I guess it's just that distance between now and when I'll have some perspective on right now. I think in some way we always have to be thinking about the future. It's sort of a funny question to ask me because my work is always about the past. Every single collection is about a past historical reference, but I think that I use the past to contextualize the present, which also helps me kind of contextualize the future. So for me, I think designing is always a mix of looking back and looking forward. Um, I'm definitely not one of those designers who's like looking at what a trend might be in six months, but more so looking at, you know, how can I create something that both feels like it's from the past and from the future. I think about like what a future aesthetic might look like a lot. Um, it's funny because like a lot of my taste does trend towards really minimalistic stuff, but I don't think that the future is necessarily or the future aesthetic is necessarily minimalistic. I feel like what we're seeing always is like more, more so of like a distilling than a sense of minimalism. For me, you know, I always see that cyclical nature, not only of fashion, but of, you know, culture in general. And so that might mean, you know, a return to suiting, which like also you're kind of seeing now. Um, and it also might mean a return to something like a lot more casual, but I feel like no matter what, a future aesthetic will sort of be distilled in its sense of value. Um, so you might just be seeing, you know, a more common use of like sustainable fabrics and stuff like that rather than um, one like unifying aesthetic. I was stuck in Toronto for all of 2020 um, and I think Canada having some of the most strict lockdowns um, sort of gave me some perspective. I think that on the one hand, you know, I had been traveling so much in my life before that, that it gave me this like new appreciation after a short time of like really having to adjust to being home. It gave me a real appreciation for spending time with my family and and, and doing things that I cared about just like at home without having to think like searching for a feeling by going somewhere else. Um, but it also reminded me of that like importance of exploring, not just, you know, like at home and exploring myself and learning more about myself and, and what's going on in the world. But also it reminded me of that importance of exploring, of going out into the world and, and experiencing and seeing new things. Um, definitely. You know, I want to be one growing the brand Mr. Saturday to a point that it becomes closer to a household name. And I, I would love to be opening uh, retail experiences around the world so that we can bring that that Mr. Saturday experience to people. But at the same time, I would also love as I become more established as a designer uh, and a creative to be able to help share my perspective with other people, whether that be working on you know different kinds of creative projects that aren't necessarily in fashion um, or even just you know, helping out like more in my community, um, which has always been a focus of the brand in Toronto. Last 50 years, we're still seeing a lot of similar like silhouettes and fabrics uh, just changing with the time. So I feel like the things that we love wearing today, like jeans and suiting and whatnot will still exist in some way in 10 years for sure. The way that they look might, might be different or it might be the same as they were 20 years from now. Um, but I feel like the biggest changes will just be in, you know, production cycles and in, um, you know, m maybe even like around regulation and, and also like uh, the lack of regulation in, in fashion. Like I think barriers have been broken down and continue to be broken down and make it easier to make clothes. Um, but I think at the same time that customers will probably continue to be more educated, that people care a lot more about 
what they're buying so that will effectively force people who enter the market and also big players in the market already to consider the impact of their brands um, on the world. So I feel like, like luckily in some way we are trending more towards like a, a more conscious person. And I guess, you know, this is like a buzzword, but a more conscious consumer. And I think that that's a really good thing. And I hope that that's more so what's crafting fashion 10 years from now, um, rather than just people trying to create, you know, silhouettes that sell really well. My personal wish for the future, honestly, is just to be able to keep doing this, uh, to keep growing the brand and to get to a place where I'm able to help, you know, young people trying to start brands or do something creative um, the way that a lot of people have helped me do what I'm doing.